Hello guys, welcome back to my channel Gamma Dai Gamma. Again, apologies for taking the longest I've ever taken to upload. But I mean, I had warned you before about the semester getting hard for me. It indeed was, and what's important is I'm I'm still here, and that's a testimony to the commitment of the channel towards the community that we've formed on YouTube. With that being said, let's get started. So, in one of the previous videos, we had derived, I think, in two parts, the Kumar expansion for the natural log of gamma. All I'm gonna do is just simplify it even further. So that it's usable for the very next video that I'm going to make. The expansion was it was as follows: natural log of gamma of x equals one half natural log of two pi minus one half. Sorry, this should be a natural log before. Natural log of 2 sine pi x. This was actually a Fourier series, but we broke down all the cosine terms using some identities in 2 sine terms. Sum from n equals 1 to infinity of Euler Mascheroni plus natural log of 2n pi over pi n sine of 2 pi n x. Now, for this development that we're going to make, we're going to sort of isolate one term in this expansion, namely the natural log term and the sine term. So sum from 1 to infinity, natural log of n over pi n. So what I'm deciding to do is I'm, I'm going to break this term in the 2 pi part and the n, and the n part using uh, multiplicative properties of the natural log. So we have this and then sine along with it 2 pi n x which can't do much with that equals natural log of gamma of x minus all the other terms by just doing algebra. So this is the constant coefficient term plus natural log of 2 sine pi x which will remain minus sum from 1 to infinity Euler Mascheroni sine 2 pi n x over pi n minus natural log of 2 pi this is that the breaking the, the breaking term Sine of 2 pi n x over pi n. Now, what stands in the road of our simplification and us right now is uh, the, the, these infinite series here. The ones that especially have the sine 2 pi n x over pi n in both cases because the gamma can be taken out. So, in order to simplify that, we need to consider S1, which is basically that. And then once we simplify, we can just plug in into our expression. Sine 2 pi n x over pi n equals to simplify, we can decompose this sine into its exponential terms using Euler's identity 2 pi i n x minus negative 2 pi i n x over 2i pi n which becomes minus 1 over 2 pi i natural log I'm just using the ex expansion Taylor series expansion for natural log minus natural log of 1 minus e to the minus 2 pi i x
and we have minus 1 over 2 pi i. Just using the identity for the natural log, 1 minus e to the i e to the i 2 pi x over e to the e to the 2 pi i x minus 1 plus natural log of e to the i 2 pi x. So I just did some algebra here. What I did was, maybe I should write that in white. If you use the trig log identity, you get this divided by that. We can write this is which just becomes a and so the numerator because all of this is inside the natural log the, the multiplication in the numerator can be separated into a addition with, with an, another natural log term okay uh, now, now to find now to simplify this quantity here I will do it in a little algebra, not algebraic, but geometric method. So we have quantities 1 minus e to the 2 pi i x and 2 pi i x minus 1. Let's consider the entire thing as it is. But for that, let's consider the unit circle, which will represent e to the 2 pi i x, because this is e to the 2 pi i x will just be a a unit circle in the complex plane and one in this case is is a unit vector on the real axis like that so that's one and let's take any arbitrary point to be it it the value of e to the 2 pi i x for some x so we have these two vectors now the numerator one minus e to the 2 pi i x looks a little like let me draw it out like that so the blue vector is mm, 1 minus e to the 2 pi i x uh, that's sort of the numerator and e to the e to the 2 pi i x minus 1 uh, will be let's take a different color will be sort of the the flipped version of that it will be the this green vector so what we have why is this important because if we if we we can decompose any complex number that's in this case that's inside the natural log as as its magnitude times its overall phase it's simple if it's just a numerator or a denominator then the overall phase isn't complicated here it is complicated the magnitude of the numerator and the denominator is the same because the my we don't really care about a minus sign when we're when we're computing the magnitude of things so the magnitudes are the same the phases are actually a little bit problematic because i'll show you if if we say this has phase zero then this has a flipped phase doesn't it so because we have to rotate this vector the blue vector by 180 degrees to get the green vector then this has a phase of pi but i mean if you can if you're if you're like a really really critical viewer you might say well that looks like it's it's pointing down so maybe it already has like a phase of near near pi well i'll say fine if if the blue has a phase of like around pi 
then you'll have to rotate the blue by another pi to get the green which will have a phase 2 pi and why is 2 pi not 0 because if you remember the video on multi-valued complex functions natural log is is an infinitely valued complex function because it any complex number will then become natural log of magnitude g plus i phi so 0 and 2 pi differ by this i i times the phase factor so 2 pi don't write that as 0 otherwise you will get the wrong answer in which case you'll have pi here and 2 pi there but what's important is that there one is in the numerator and one's in the denominator so let me quickly rewrite this expression that we have here or i can just select it like this and paste it there so what what i was saying is minus 1 over 2 pi i natural log of well retain the let's write the magnitude of the numerator and the magnitude of the denominator and then say this has phase phi according to this diagram using the you know the flipping technique that you know we have to always flip the phase of one into the other this will always have an additional phase of pi so phi plus pi which we can split like that and everything else is unchanged because everything else wasn't causing a problem we can simplify this to be 2 pi i x and as i said before absolute value the magnitude doesn't care about the minus sign inside so that just dies and we have the phi goes away and we have an additional phase so natural log of e to the minus i pi so minus i pi plus 2 pi i x gives you x minus 1 half if we plug this back into our original expression that gives us 1 over pi sum from 1 to infinity sine 2 pi n x natural log of n over n is natural log of gamma of x minus 1 over 2 pi ln 2 pi plus 1 half natural log of 2 sine pi x I'm writing the non infinity terms first of the right hand side minus 1 half we can group the Euler mascheroni and the natural log 2 pi because both of them were sort of multiplied with their individual s1 series i think i call yeah i think i call that s1 so times s1 but we know the value of s1 it's going to be 1 minus 2x because we already took the one half outside because this is just one half times 2x minus 1 and we flip the sign because uh, minus is outside so we can probably flip it around here as well yeah and there we go this I believe Wikipedia calls it uh, Kumar Malston log gamma, log gamma expansion because I think Kumar did you know the first thing we derived and he simplified it like we have and Malmsten got the same expression but for a little more general case of x but in any case this will be extremely valuable for the next video and you will see why without this it would be really hard to solve the video that i'm going to solve in the next video i hope you like this video apologize for if my if the video today was a little rusty and do let me know how what you think about this geometric way of finding the phase of this uh, this compound function inside the natural log 
And yes, as always, do subscribe, leave feedback in the comment section. And uh, thank you for watching. Do remember this expansion. It's really important. For, especially for the next video. So, peace out guys. And uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. I accelerate my video frequency during the break. So, stay tuned. Keep watching. Peace out.